Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to on how channel if you don't know my name is NS I'm working for you so now you know if you have any questions any video request make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me I don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you and in this video I will show you how to add color gradient to buttons on your Shopify store and this is again a request by one of my subscribers well I think she is a subscriber I'm not sure what anyway as I said in this video I will show you how to add color gradient to buttons on your Shopify store what I'm talking about which buttons is the add to cart and buy it now button if you want to add it to any buttons other than buy it now and add to cart button which is the most important one obviously make sure to drop me a comment below that will be happy to help you out but as I said in this video I will show you how to add the color gradients to buttons add to cart button as well as the buy it now button on your Shopify store and you will be able to set a different gradient color to each one of them as well as disabling the gradient color for add to cart button or vice versa for the buy it now button so you can pick actually if you want to display the gradient color for only buy it now button or only add to cart button and as well as changing for both actually add, uh, adding a different color gradients for the add to cart button and different color gradients for the buy it now button and it's really easy and straightforward I would provide you with very short code again completely free you don't have to pay for it or anything like that and we'll do the trick of adding the gradient color for both buttons or I will show you as I said how to disable the for a button one of them actually so if you have any questions again because as I said this video is requested by one of my subscribers drop me a comment I would be happy to make a video for you just like this one that you're watching right now and without any more talking let's just jump to it but before we start as always as you can see the Shopify store that you see right now on the screen in front of me is the Shopify store that I do tutorials on and including this one as well I will do the demonstration in the Shopify store and everything you see in the Shopify store including this video right here will keep it keeps looping and if you're uh, wondering where you did you see this video is actually the intro of the, my channel so you saw it at the beginning of the video as you can see it doesn't have any buttons or any sound or anything like that it just keeps looping like this and it doesn't even look like a video as you can see and just like you saw uh, right here the video banner as well with the, the, the header as well as the uh, the description and the button as well and the transparent header and the video is actually playing underneath the header which looks really good and professional as well as the hover effect on the drop down menu and even removing the underlines that shows up underneath the menu once you hover over them I did show a video on how to remove that and there is no video on YouTube that's showing you that a lot of videos or the lot of things that you cannot do from the team customizer I did make videos on how to do that but what I'm talking about here which is this one right here changing adding actually why this doesn't click anyway uh, changing adding the color gradient to these buttons right here which is add to cart as well as buy it now button and as I said I will show you how to change the, uh, the gradient color for each one of these so I will keep this page open right here then we will do the trick and come back in here reload the page and see the changes so obviously the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard after that click on the online store from here then click on the three dots on left of customize after that click on edit code right here and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and right now the next thing you're going to do is click on assets folder right here you will see it at the bottom of the page simply click on it and it will show you a lot of CSS and GS code and the first thing and make sure to access base.css in here it will be either base.css or team.css it's the same file but each team uses a different file name but I think most of the new teams right now they use base.css so as I said make sure you do access either base.css or team.css you will find either one of these so after that simply click on it and it will show you a lot of CSS code the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page let me drag this down because it's a pretty big file and after that make sure you do access completely new line and nothing on it and then the next thing you're going to do is as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here as you can see and as I said you don't have to pay for it or anything like that it's completely free the only thing I'm asking for just a like please and if this video helped you out actually so obviously you need to select this code in here make sure to select the whole code if you did miss this dot little dot right here it will not work so make sure you do select the whole code in here including the dot as well as the closing bracket in here after that right click and copy after you did copy the code obviously get back to the code editor right here 
and paste it at the bottom of the page, the bottom of the file base.css or theme.css. So simply paste it in here and after that click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back Shopify so reload the page and see the changes and see if that actually working or not and I know it does so as you can see there is no gradient color in here so let's just reload the page and see if that would work or not and as you can see it does as you can see so it does work and as I said I will show you obviously how to change the gradient color for this so if you want to set a different gradient color to the add to cart or set a different color to the buy it now and as well I will show you how to disable this color gradient for buy it now button or add to cart button so let's just stick with the first one which is changing the color so obviously you see here it says background let's just uh, access it from here because it's really obvious with the colors and so on here we go so as you can see it says here uh, background and this is actually the first one is for the add to cart button the second one is for buy it now so if you want to disable the option for the buy it now in here just remove the last one which is the, the Shopify buy, the payment button and so on as you can see so if you do remove this one and make sure you do not remove the closing bracket for the first one so each one has a different uh, closing bracket so if you did remove this text right here this will not work for the buy it now and vice versa if you did remove the first one which is the dot button right here the first one you did remove this text from here from the base.css the gradient color right here it will not be shown for the add to cart button so that's really obvious right now right so let's just get to changing the color so in here as you can see it says uh, as you can see it says rgba so rgb is actually the color and it stands for uh, red green and blue which is the base color for every color obviously so in here you see this number between the two quotation marks uh, between two closing brackets well i forgot what this called i'm sorry i'm not a native english speaker uh, english is my third language actually so i apologize so as you can see this is a color actually and to change this just uh, access google search engine and simply uh, type in hex color picker and it will show you this widget and you don't have to access any websites or anything like that and you can play around with the color for example green right here or yellow and in here it does show you a hex called color and this one right here is the rgb color right here so if you want to change the first color in here as you can see this one right here if you want to change it to a different color just copy this code right here which stands for rgb as i said simply copy it uh, right click copy and change it just with the first colors in here not this one make sure you do keep one you do not change it just this one's right here so simply paste in the new color right <laughs> i forgot <laughs> i thought i was accessing the base.css let me do that on here so let's just select just the first ones in here and just paste it the new one and let's just hit save and get back in here and let's just reload the page and see if that will change or not and here we go as you can see right now we did add the yellow or the green I don't remember yeah it looks like a yellow or a little bit green anyway so as you can see we did set a different color on the right or the left so this is the left apologize so we did set a different color for the green color on the add to cart button because as I said the first one in here is for the add to cart button and the second one which is buy it now button so make sure to play around with the numbers in here as i said and do not remove the one just the first three numbers in here and make sure you do that until you figure out the colors or the gradient color you want to set in here and as i said remove this one right here and the trick will not work for buy it now or do the opposite and here we go as you can see add to cart button is the only one that has the green color or buy it now it get back to the original color which is black and that's how you set a gradient color to buttons on your shopify store and as i said on the beginning of the video this is actually a request by one of my subscribers so if you have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you're wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one